Hey gaming fans, so today I'm going to be looking at some random dollar store Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, yeah, I bought these. I was at the dollar store. I actually had to buy some stuff. And, uh, you know, I always seen these sitting there and I always wondered, you know, what, what's in there? Um, because they, they're probably like a, a complete mixture of, of multiple sets from who knows how long ago. And, uh, you know, whatever. And I'm sure there's varying rarities. Probably nothing overly expensive, but... You know, for a buck twenty-five, that's that's not a lot, and uh, you get eight cards. So I'm like, whatever. Let's let's just pick up a bunch of packs. The funny thing is, I grabbed five. One, two, three, four, five cards. Well, five packs. And uh, when I got home, I noticed the lady only charged me for four. So I guess I'm officially a shoplifter. But uh, you know, that wasn't my mistake. Anyways, let's um, let's uh, do this. Let's open up and see what's going on in these packs and. So I got scissors. Cut them open here. Now I know a couple of times I've seen these in the store. I've always tried to like peek, and you know, just out of curiosity, see what kind of stuff they put in here. Because I'm assuming it's all crap, and you know, to try and like move them around and shuff them around inside. And, uh, but it's not easy to do. So, <laughs> so let's just uh, officially buy some and take a look. So um, yeah, we're gonna turn over the first card. Oh wow! So I guess they're newer cards. Um, and, uh, if you've been watching my channel at all, uh, especially some of my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, you'll know that I've, I've just kind of got back in the game after a couple of year hiatus. So I don't really have a lot of these Link monsters. Um, in fact, I don't know much of the new stuff at all. So this is kind of neat. Goki the Solid Ogre. Um, two Goki. I don't even know what the heck those are. Go Gokis? Uh, that's a new archetype that I've never heard of. Um, and that's the problem too. When you buy random cards like this... Uh, you're going to get a lot of archetype specific cards that probably won't work in any other deck except their own. But that's okay. Mirror Resonator. I'm pretty sure I have this one. It's not too bad. Uh, Resonator cards are kind of fun. They're all for Synchro Summoning. Heraldic Beast. I remember actually playing a Heraldic Beast deck. Uh, I probably have like all, all of those cards. Uh, Kishido Spirit. Um... Monsters on your side of the field cannot be destroyed in battle if the monsters attack are equal. It's uh, it's an okay card. I guess if you're going against mirror matches and stuff. What's this? Super Strident Blaze. Equip only to Machine Fusion Monster. Huh. Your opponent can activate cards or effects during your battle phase at the end of the damage step. If the equipped monster attacks an opponent's monster, you can banish one Cyber Dragon monster from a graveyard. The equipped monster can attack an opponent's monster again in a row. It's kind of like one of those OTK, you know, one-turn kill type cards. Baby Dragon, Joey Wheeler's favorite card. <laughs> uh, one's upside down for whatever reason. Oh, nice, Book of Moon. This card actually just came back to three per deck, so, you know, it's always handy to have Book of Moons. And uh, what's this? World Legacy Bestowal. Activate one of the following effects. Send one Link Monster, your opponent controls to the graveyard. Banish seven World Legacy cards from your graveyard. Add one Cyberus monster from your deck to your hand. You can only activate one World Legacy bestow per turn. Huh. That's uh, that's the other archetype I'm not too familiar with. Again, that's part of that Link summoning stuff. So let's open pack number two. Let's see what we get in there. Let's try and go a little bit quickly. I don't want to do a, you know too long of a video. Oh, I already seen a couple there. Uh, what's this? Saryuja's Shackles. Target one Link monster your opponent controls. Enter in their graveyard. Draw cards equal to its Link rating. And if you have two or more draw cards in your hand, place two cards from your hand on the bottom of your deck. In your... That's kind of neat. You know, draw draw cards are always fun. This game is always hard to get draw cards because a lot of them are banned. Scapegoats are always fun. Deliver, uh, it uh, creates four uh, tokens. Goblin and Eat Attack Force. I actually remember making a Goblin deck. I probably still have it um, in pieces. I'm going to try that again. Gazer Shark. The Shark decks are pretty cool. Jin Presider of Rituals. So we got like a super rare here. Um, this is the one. I, I don't think many people use this. You could substitute it for a ritual card. Or you could use it as a ritual summon, I mean, uh, from your graveyard. Uh, and when that ritual monster destroys a monster, you can draw a card. It's okay. XYZ agent. I remember these guys. Uh, link back. Target one link monster you control in the extra monster zone. Move that monster you control in the main monster zone. Uh, okay, that's a weird one. And another Book of Moon. 
All right, we got two buckling in. Sorry for the shaky camera there. I just banged into it. Uh, okay, let's go on to pack number three. I mean, so far, I'm not overly disappointed. I thought it was just going to be garbage. Like, I mean, there's not, like, anything really good here. Uh, Super Quantal, uh, Quantal Union Mega Formation. Okay, that, that's an archetype I'm not too familiar with. That's got a lot of text in there. I'll read that. People running about. I remember these cards. I remember trying to build a deck around these. There's uh, three of them. And there's a trap card that goes with them that literally like makes your opponent discard their hand and field and uh, but it's very hard to pull off. Nagel's protection. Another archetype specific. I'm not too sure about that. Flick clown. Uh, Cyberus monster. If you control at least two other Cyberus monsters and you have no cards in your hand, you can pay a thousand life points, draw one card. I always like draw cards. Those, those are fun. What's this? Hike the Earth Star. Probably said that wrong. If you're, if only your opponent controls a monster and you control a light monster, you can normal summon this without tributing. This card is normal or special. You special summon one level five light warrior monster from your hand. Ah, kind of neat. And that's like a what's that? An ultimate rare. It's okay. These are probably worth like nothing. I'm sure. Uh, Marine Cess Star Sea Star. Oh, another Cyberus monster. Uh, some Morg Sky Battle. Wing Beast monsters you control cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects or their monster's attacks except by Wing Beast. That's cool. Uh, I also did a Harpy deck that I want to, you know, do a deck profile on one day. Grinning Grave Virus. No idea what this is. Tribute one dark monster with 3,000 or less attack. Your opponent destroys one card of their choice from their hand deck and every 500 attack that monster had on the field. Oh, so it's like typical virus cards. That's kind of neat. I'll look into that a little bit more. All right, let's go on to the second to last pack. Try not to cut the cards when I'm opening these things. At least it's see-through. I can make sure I'm not slicing through the cards. It's kind of a thick plastic. It's not like a booster pack where you can just like tear it open. All right, so what do we got here? Another one of those super quantal alpha, alpha call appeal. I don't know. Not sure what that archetype is, so I'll have to look into it. Salomon Great. I, I've heard of this deck type. Obviously, it's, it's one of those, you know, people use it in tournaments and stuff. Um, but I haven't actually spent some time to really learn these things and what they can do. Uh, Shattered Axe. I remember this. is an old card. It just makes a, a creature lose attack points. It's not really that good. Perform a pull. Hip Hippo. <laughs> Speedroid. I've tried to build a speedroid deck in the past when when the you know the new ones came out, but never really got far. Hey, Skull Servant, another deck that I've just been working on. These guys are cool. This is from the Speed Duel set too. That's cool. The speed Duel. I did a video on that uh, the the Pegasus structure deck that I opened up. Barry Cad Board Blocker. Huh. Just a standard Link monster. Nothing special. Oh well. Wow. Another one of those grinning grave viruses. Another reason to check it out more if I have two of them now. Maybe I can build something around it. And let's open up the last pack of the day. All right, so I just saw a scapegoat there. Deuce X Crawler, insect. There's a lot of text in there, so I'm not gonna read all that, but. Insects are fun, too. I had an insect deck at one point. It was all about flipping your opponent's monsters face down. Problem is that Link monsters don't go face down. More scapegoat fun. Another Goblin Elite Attack Force. This is almost like the other deck. Uh, perform performable Fire Muffler, muffler Lion. <laughs> I think I have that. Oh, another one of those Jin Presider of Rituals. Almost like the same back. Except this one has uh, Inceptor Tomato. <laughs> Nice little tomato card. They had like a little bit of a, a tomato archetype for a while there. Fighting Dirty. If a card you control and a card your opponent controls are destroyed by battle or a card effect, at the same time, each player draws two cards. Oh, wow. That's kind of neat. I like that. And the final card of today. The third Grinning Virus. That is so weird. I got three of the same virus card. 
I don't know anything about it, but I'm going to read it and I'm going to find out. But uh, yeah, it would be funny to, if this is playable, build a deck around it. Anyways, yeah, this is pretty cool. I mean, these things were not, like I said, expensive. $1.25 from the dollar store, you get eight of them. Whatever. Just just something fun. Dollarama actually is the store I'm talking about here. Uh, yeah, kind of neat. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you know anything about these cards that I've just shown off, if you have any like tips on how to use any of those virus cards, throw it down there in the comments. Always happy to read them. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.